hi viewers welcome to fred daily channel so it is the rainy season now and it is planting season and at this time i'm always busy so uh, one thing i've realized as a daily farmer is you must whether you like it or not you must have fodder so what i'm doing today is i'm planting i already planted the uh, super nepia all this area and what i was doing is i was unprooting un these uprooting all these uh these ordinary nepia grass and i'm replacing it with uh, uh super nepia so if you have a small piece of land whether you have free state or it's your own there is a space between like now here this is super nepia this is a tubukiza i've planted using the tubukiza method and the, we have a bigger area there at the center you plant either yellow maize or you plant maize for silage so this is what it's going to do this will take like three to four months for it to mature well for harvesting but the maize will take three months to four months uh mostly for silage is three months so you will uh have two two types of fodder the super nepia and uh, the maize the maize you make it for even you can cut all at the same time and you make uh, silage using the super nepia and uh, the maize crop itself so you see it is has already started sprouting out like you see this you see this one so at the center you plant maize don't waste any space any space that you have any part uh, piece of land that you have you utilize it to the maximum and still when you are utilizing your space make sure you feed the soil because soil is everything soil all these plants will get uh, nutrients from the soil like you see here i put a lot of manure yeah and this is far from home uh i put uh, i just hired a car then i brought uh, manure here so utilize the smallest space you have by planting as much fodder as you can let me reiterate that fodder is everything without fodder you cannot make it in dairy farming and uh, it will um, you be buying fodder that you not be making any profit yeah so these are rad somewhere or even if you have a rad make sure that you utilize it to the maximum yeah so this is a bigger area that is a forest right there uh, but i'm going slowly by slowly no hurry we said just go with the, your pace yeah do not rush go with your pace and uh, with time you will you will make it guys never despise small beginnings and i have always said that so this is what i've been doing today i've been I was planting maize uh in between uh these uh called for super nepia and uh, i'll continue digging with time slowly by slowly before it gets uh before the rain ends i'll be digging a retro and planting dig and, and plant yeah so utilize the space that you have a, as much as you can yeah and plant as much fodder as you can you have different types of fodder uh currently we have super nepia we have australian uh, red nepia we have the smodium you can intercrop like here we have a lot of space uh that i'm not uh, planted so in between here i'll be planting the smodium yeah i don't have seed because seeds are somehow expensive but i have some cuttings like let me show you here the smodium is good in protein so we have a bit of uh, this modium here this is what we call this modium this one yeah so i'm going to be cutting pieces yeah they have many here this is uh, this modium as you can see it so once you intercrop this modium with super nepia and maize it makes a good uh, uh combination yeah and how am i going to so i have just practiced this one out and uh, it is not a big deal although this uh, needs a lot of water for it to to germinate like now let me show you so i'm going to be cutting it here uh we don't need the bigger so i cut it again so like now we have these two we have three you just uh we have three sprouts here uh like this space yeah so you just 
using a panga and then you lay it like this no you have to know which side has the then you you bury it and you leave a small space just like that you see i've left a small space here so these are the small dm what it does it will cover the entire area yeah and remember we have maize here and then the super nepia. so uh the thing is you have to plan when you fail to plan you will start uh, saying dairy farming is very hard it is expensive to be a dairy farmer no it is not hard you just need you have to to keep on uh, investing and improvising ways on how you can uh, maneuver through it yeah so and i'll show you within <laughs> three three months you see all these are sprouted yeah like already you are seeing these these super nepies has already sprouted yeah so with time if it uh, rains again you will see all the area to greenish yeah so I was approaching this one and I was putting it. So this is uh, ordinary Napier grass that I was uh, approaching. And this one is the new one. So guys, believe in yourself, guys. Don't doubt yourself. And once you believe in yourself, you will make it, guys. You will make it. Yeah? Trust the process. Keep on working harder. And uh, with time, you will make it. Yeah? Because dairy farming is not for the faint-hearted. Uh, you will incur so many mistakes, you will incur so many challenges when you are a dairy farmer. But uh, the point is, you and the challenges, challenges will make you grow. Yeah, challenges makes you grow. If you are not growing, uh, I don't know what you are doing. Yeah, and uh, as I have said, don't despise small beginnings, you keep on working. Keep on doing what is required of you and uh, with time uh, you will make it yeah so guys uh invest in fodder farming as much as you can even before you start a dairy farming for those who are planning to start invest in fodder invest in fodder yeah and when i say fodder uh for you can do silage you can do bearing of uh Hey, bomber roads, yeah, you can plant uh, super nepia. We have rusan, all those types of uh, fodder that are required for dairy farming. You must have them as a dairy farmer. Rusan needs a lot of water, so uh, that one can be a bit tricky, yeah. And we have other trees that you can plant for protein purposes, uh, protein for, for forage, yeah. So you do research on them and uh, invest in fodder invest in fodder whether you like it or not fodder is everything so let me leave it here let me continue now i'm going to be cutting that uh, nephew grass clearing the bush so that i can continue farming so if you like this video consider subscribing and uh, see you in the next video